Hey guys, so today I've got a little bit of a different video for y'all. Um, what you're looking at is my Bush Hog 72 inch grooming mower that I've been using for quite some time and so is my father, which obviously I inherited this. And today we got some little things to do on here. Um, I don't know what all I'm gonna show, but I'm gonna show the majority of it. And uh, just kind of give y'all a step-by-step -step on how to do things and what to do and all that. So anyway, the problem today is these idler pulleys have seen better days. <laughs> so we're going to remove these and get some new ones put on, which I already have ordered. I actually had a buddy of mine to pick those up. Shout out to him. Um, but if y'all are wondering, the name of these is Idler Assembly. The part number is 88663. Uh, I will have a link in the description down below to where you can find a disassemble of this in case you have one uh, that shows you every part, every piece, every bearing. It shows the whole nine yards. It's a great diagram if you're trying to work on something and you can't find the part or you don't know the name of the part. So I got two with bearings already pre-installed. That's how they come. Um, I did try to get greasable fittings. However, they do not have that for this model without running an aftermarket, which on here, Bush Hog even says only use genuine Bush Hog parts. There's a QR code here if you wanna pause the video and scan it. I'll leave it right there for a second. Uh, that will actually take you to the diagram. However, I will link it down below in case anybody doesn't have a phone readily available or they're watching on their phone. Um, but I'm gonna show y'all how to take them off. I'm gonna give y'all a little description on bolt size, all that nut size, I guess I should say. And anything that I find in between um, and also how to route the belt. That way in case anybody is wondering on the HD, wait, where is it? This is a Bush Hog HDTH, HDTH6. Uh, 72 inch cut tri blade. Uh, been one hell of a uh, grass cutter. So let's get into it. Alright guys, so as you could kind of see from the video, I did have a little bit of trouble. I don't know if I got it on film, but in order to get this one out, I had to go down below and hit it from the bottom as well, which I do. I'm debating uh, taking my steel welder and tacking that bolt so it does not spin anymore. However, all these bolts are a 15 16th, uh, the bolt and the nut and on this one is a 15 16th and replacing them i mean it's just it's that easy just pick them up take them off um which you can see this one's not the best um while i'm here i've got some guys clearing out some trees uh cool people very nice people anyway all right so next we're gonna go and get the new ones thrown in uh, i'm gonna go ahead and video that again and then after that i will give some final thoughts and i mean it's really that easy to replace these um the first thing to do is take this belt off you can do it one of two ways you can loosen this which is a 9 16 i do believe i will double check myself uh later in the video to release the tensioner or you can actually lift the belt up and slide it off of you know this pulley um all you're going to do is just roll it with it slide it up 
and then pop it off. I don't really suggest doing it that way if it's super tight, um, but if you're able to take your hand and sit there and do this with it, go for it. So, all right, we're gonna get the new ones put on and then I'll catch y'all back in a second. All right, so as you saw, got both of them installed. A uh, little tip, underneath here, if your bolt spins free, if it's not stuck in, um, for right now, I'm probably not going to weld that bolt head. I'm not gonna tack it on, I'm gonna leave it as is. Um, however, this is just my case. Underneath on the blade, if you throw the bolt up through and you have See if I can reach it without hitting my head on the motor deck. If you have any of these DeWalt bit cases, if you put it in there sideways, it holds it the perfect height to where you can get to it and tighten it down. And it will hold it with enough pressure against the blade. Um, so that's, <laughs> that's just how I did it. Um, if you have a floor jack or a bottle jack or in a 4x4 post, you can probably push up on it. Or if you have a second set of hands, which I don't. <laughs> but... That's how easy it is. Like I said, these are both 15 sixteenths, both this, the bolt itself, or the nut, and that nut are 15 sixteenths. Um, pretty straightforward, pretty easy, not a whole lot to it. Now routing the belt, which this is for the HD TH6 and 5. I believe the belt pattern is exactly the same, uh, but this is how you route the belt, nothing to it. Now, what you wanna do, which I do have an older belt, so I will probably down the line be in the neighborhood for a new belt, which I think this is my new belt that I got. I have a new belt somewhere. I just don't know where I put it. <laughs> you want to loosen this as far this way as you can. Uh, then you want to put the pulley, you know, the belt on, pull this tight, you know, lock this down, and then that's how you set your tension. Now, as for actually setting the tension, I don't have that spec on me. Uh, it might be on the website or it might be on a Google source. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this put on and then I'll resume the video. All right, so I got everything tightened down. I ended up helping the guys out with getting some of the tree moved, but got everything tightened down. Uh, I got it to about where the belt does this, good bit of force behind it to be able to move it. Now, I am a little concerned with the clearances right here. However, I'm going to monitor this belt as I'm running. But it's it really is straightforward and simple on these decks. There's not a whole lot to it. However, one of the big things that I see people miss, uh, especially with zero turns and of the such, if you ever drop this mower in the water to clean the bottom deck, I know it's been done. It's been done. People do it all the time. There is actually nothing wrong with doing that. Uh, even though some people will tell you differently. However, if you do that, grease your spindles. Um, I believe it was that one. I was able to do like four or five pumps with my grease gun, little hand grease gun. A air powered grease gun will save your back and your hand and your grip and everything else. This one, I think I used probably a quarter tube and I almost used half a tube on this one. Um, there was more or less no grease in that whatsoever. So grease your spindles. It'll save them. It's just It'll save you a headache. It'll save you a couple hundred dollar trip. Because I think I spent $180 between those two. About 170 or so. That's obviously with inflation and today's date. Just save yourself the trouble. Now, those are more or less bound to go out. As they don't have grease fittings in my opinion. Um, I did check everything else while I was off camera. I checked my gearbox, checked the PTO, checked U-joints. Um, I am going to have to get replacement tires because these have seen better days for sure. Uh, I believe these are solid rubber too. Um, this one especially. But other than that, that's more or less how you do it. It's really not a whole lot to it. I know that probably making a video is a little pointless on it, but... I figured I'd just make some content. Nothing wrong with that. Anyway, I'm going to get to cutting grass. If y'all have any questions or if something confused you, if I did, if I missed something, if I didn't say something, 
uh, ask it down below and I'll gladly answer it for you. I will, I do need to sharpen the blades on here, but that's kind of a basic, uh, basic how to, so I'm not going to make a video on that. However, if y'all have any questions about the tractor, about the PTO, anything like that, I will get to it. Now, I have not forgotten to make videos on the truck or those two trucks. I'm actually in the process right now of teaching myself how to buff paint. Um, it has been a rather interesting, interesting little find, which it doesn't look that bad from here, uh, but it does look a lot better than it used to. So I'll make a video on that once I get the time. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like I said, if y'all have any questions, feel free to ask and I will answer to my best ability. Thanks for watching.